Uh oh, tubes. <laughs> Let me explain what's going on here. I picked apart an OBS at the junkyard, and sorry I didn't make a video. Um, didn't know I was going to find anything, and I just kind of went without the camera. <sighs> yep. Your headliner. Well, new to me anyways. This is from a 93. And I'm going to try and make that work. I'll show you what I'm doing here. I took the most of the interior. Well, maybe like a quarter of it. But I got these visors here. It's got mint stickers on it. And it's got the clicky do, so I keep them from flapping around. Right now, mine flap around. And um, I'm done with that, so I want to see if I can make this work. I do realize there's some differences in the roof compared to mine. Um, in the arrow nose, there's two little bumps that come down for the little hooks. I'm going to see if I can make it work without those. We just have to drill a couple holes. I took the bench seat from this, or from the truck, because this was in really good shape. The only two issues I see so far is here and here. Um, and these are kind of broke off, but I don't even know if I'm going to put headrests in. I'm deciding on that. But I have headrests that will fit that. Um, otherwise, the seat's in good condition. It's got all the lumbar stuff. I don't know if it pumps up. I'll have to put power to it. Um, but it's got all the switches and stuff, and everything was intact. The seat spring is in really good shape. And speaking of that, when I went to the bucket seat, I did that because the bench that I had, which is just like this one, it was just a lighter color, the spring was all broken inside there, and then the foam was trash. And at the time, when I was looking for stuff for it, nothing was available. And of course, after I got rid of it and went to the bucket seats, which honestly, guys, not really happy with the bucket seat. But anyways, right after I did that, I found um, for like 20 bucks an LMC truck. I think it was 20 or 50 bucks. Seat spring, they got a brand new one. Um, and then the cushion. And I'm like, okay, well, this one here, if I have problems with it, I'm actually just gonna order the heat, the seat spring, just to have it and some foam, and maybe we'll actually do this one up. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'll put some heating pads in there too. But uh, I just car washed it just to get some dirt and stains out, but uh, you can probably see it here in the camera, there's a little bit of stainage here, but I gave her a quick wash with the uh, carpet cleaner hiding behind the fan there. And it does all right. I'm probably gonna get a new one that'll actually do heat. That one doesn't do heat. Um, and the sprayer function's getting kind of wonky on it. But it did the, did the job. I'll flip that and get some more fanage. Um, but yeah, and I also, part of the interior stuff that I grabbed I'll be able to put this back in. I actually need to paint this. Um, I'm thinking about going back to the junkyard and grabbing the carpet from that truck because I don't have mostly matching interior and then it would be the door panels and dash I need to paint and stuff. But I took the rear trim. Um, all this mounts the same. This mounts the same. Um, and up there is about the same. The only difference is, is the seat belt thing right there. So. We're gonna have to cut a slit in there for the seat belt to fit through, and then also make a cut so that we can slide the seat belt through, and then the whole the actual mechanism will go inside that guy. So we'll have to kind of chop those up a little bit, which I don't necessarily want to do, but we have to. But what I'll do, so let me put speakers back there. I checked to see what was back there, and as it turns out, speakers are held in by these little bezels. So, and there's nothing in behind there, and that's the same design as my uh, bullnose cab, so we should be able to make that work. Yeah, I hope so, anyways. Um, I paid like six bucks for that, for the two, or six each, I think it was. Um, the seat I got for $47, and the headliner I got for $21. I also found a short bed um, from a truck the same year as mine, uh, it's a rubber bed mat or bed liner, and it's got the cutouts for the fenders or the wheel wells. So yeah, I had a little score yesterday at the junkyard. 
But I am seriously thinking about going back and grabbing the carpet. Um, yeah. Carpet, factory carpets are a little bit thicker and this one wasn't beat up too bad. It just needs to be vacuumed and washed and that's something I can do, so. Um, but I might do what someone mentioned a long time ago. I think they said that they just take their carpets and they hang it up some, like, I don't know, not, maybe not a clothesline, but hang it up some way. Could probably hang it with the cherry picker and just freaking blast it with the pressure washer or something, so. Anyways, um, in a little bit, I'm going to take out the bucket seats from my truck. We're gonna get the cab ready for the bench seat installed, but I actually want to start on putting the headliner in. So that um, is pretty easy peasy. I've already got this trim out, and on the bull nose, these just go twink on both sides, and so does the back one. They're not held in with screws, which I like. And then I gotta take the light out. Oh, and I did get a different, <coughs> a different light. The one I have in there, it's just not really working. Right, what did I do with that light? The dome light, oh, there it is. Back there, I got one of those, which is what it's supposed to have. So I'm gonna be putting that back in. Yeah, so, trying to make my interior a little bit better, trying to make it, make it match. It's kind of driving me nuts. I'm going to get brick nose door panels here eventually and then I'm going to end up cleaning the dash pretty thoroughly and we're just going to tape up the whole truck and paint it some kind of gray color to kind of match this and then paint the trim pieces like that. So luckily I can set up this garage so I can have some heat so I'll be able to get everything heated up or up to temperature and then uh, Paint it up, crack the door open, have a fan blow the, pull the paint fumes out. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go mess around with the truck. All right, I've been out here for a few hours. Tankering, check it out, back to normal. And yes, I have some holes in my floor, but I'll deal with those later. Um, got the headliner in, I've got my new visors. Got these in, I just drilled, a there's an alignment peg for this. Drilled a hole for that, and then next to it, drilled a smaller hole for the screw. And just ran it up until it got snug, and it works fine. So now these are not floppy cock, and then that's got a mirror now, so good there. This has got factory stickers, which pretty much uh, applies to this now, because it has uh, basically the running gear from the truck that this stuff came out of, so that's all normal. I need to clean the schmoo off that, but yeah. So that's that, I need to get a lens for that, but this is all working like normal. Yeah, I did try the trim pieces. Um, I'll have to cut a square out here and then put some trim around it just to kind of clean it up and then a little slit for the seatbelt to go through. But everything else looks like it's gonna work just fine. Um, that side over here, or in this area, there. Um, I had to do the same thing I did over here where I just cleaned out the track, got the, got it to dry up, and then painted it with some rust, rusty metal primer. Um, so hopefully that stops. There is still some like moisture over there under the carpet, so um, I'm probably gonna go nab that carpet for, or from the truck that had this stuff here. And we'll take this carpet out and um, we'll dry this up with the torch, just get the moisture down. I'm probably gonna come in and coat this with some kind of metal primer, just clean it up just to prolong it, and then um, put that carpet in, and then it'll somewhat match in here, and I'll have to do the trim and stuff and other things, but yeah. The problem I have with those bucket seats is, being that they were from the Explorer, they reeked of mold. So now my truck doesn't smell like mold anymore. There's my bed, Matt. Washed it all down. You know, it's not perfect. <laughs> I was gonna buy a brand new one. Can you believe that? Yep. Fits this truck just fine. 
I might make something to maybe latch it down, but it's pretty heavy. It's not gonna go anywhere. I think I'll slide around. Okay, it's the next day. <clears throat> I went back to the junkyard and took the carpet Uh, from the truck, I got my bench seat, interior trim, and whatnot from. So, yeah, it needs uh, to be cleaned up. I'm going to try and do... <laughs> I'm going to do whatever I can to get it clean. I think what I'm going to do is actually move my truck forward a little bit. And just lay the carpet here, and then just work on it that way. And I might clear off my table again and just lay it there and then heat the garage up and then that way this thing can dry out. But I think I'm going to hit it with the garden hose and wash it that way first. And then, um, uh, yeah, but I'm also thinking about hooking my garden hose up to my hot water tap in the garage for the laundry. I'm not doing any laundry right now, so maybe use the hot water and just to break up the dirt. <clears throat> and that might help and then we'll get the well first we're going to vacuum it pretty thoroughly and then maybe I'll hit it with some spot treatment or simple green or something and then um, hit it with the hot water we'll see how that works uh, but anyways <laughs> I was at the yard I snooped around some other cars found another K&N air filter for a Lincoln Town car. This one looks like it was just put in, maybe ran for a few miles, and then the car was junked. So I already have one in my car now, but I have another one. Alright tubes, that'll be it for today. Later we will tear my interior apart again, pull the seat out, pull the carpet out, and I have some sound editing stuff that really doesn't do anything. I'm going to be pulling that out. We're going to uh, wire wheel the floor, we're going to epoxy areas that are sketchy, and then we're going to um, coat the floor. I might get that POR stuff or some kind of paint slash sealer, rust inhibitor kind of thing. And then uh, we'll slap the carpet in. Also check out the links down below. We got our Patreon, which I've finally fixed up. That's set up and ready to go. So check out that. Uh, be a supporter if you want to or not. It's up to you. But if you do, 
it is much appreciated and it'll go towards the channel. Also check out our other links as well. Plus we have our email that you can uh, get onto. And Mr. Adam suited up for nothing now. Fucker, we got another script to do like this intro. Good job. Oh yeah. And then I got all that shit in the way. Seriously. Wait, you didn't open the door or drop in Jerry? We're gonna suffocate him here. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you leave that door there open, then the heat from there will come in here. <laughs> I'm not alcohol enough at all. I just can't yeah. walk. I might make a drink. Uh, hopefully this carpet won't take too long. I'll probably have to flip it. This is damp like the seat yesterday, so. Well, it's like I couldn't find the suit I wanted, and I finally found all this shit. I'm like, no, it's still not enough. That would have been your Michelin Man suit, Jerry. Uh, no, that's over here right now. <laughs> but yeah, we could get that desperate. Oh, yeah, don't get too close. I'm starting to smell some eggs frying there. My balls. You're like, my balls are on fire. <laughs> Gross. Actually, it's kind of toasty right here now. Yeah, I so bet. It's kind of step back in five minutes. <laughs> Anyways, dudes, check out Patreon, the other links, and I can't move because the camera's fully extended out. Oh, oh God, Tubes. Oh, no. All right, Tubes, you're going to have to excuse the dryer in the background. I'm just doing a little bit of laundry. Um, don't want to stop it because uh, there may be a chance I'll forget about partially dried clothes in my dryer. In the end of this video, and I originally did was getting ready to post it for you guys to watch, but I realized I messed up. And there's this raffle that I promised you that I was going to do for you guys. Here I am doing that wrap. So I have a thing, but I also have some other stuff um, that I'm going to give away um, to anybody who wants it. I have a couple different things here on the table here for today's raffle, and I will get to those here in a moment. But uh, I've got your, your votes. I just stuck with people who had dollar amounts and not negotiations and stuff. Um, you know, thank you for commenting, but dollar numbers is what we're going for. Um, so let's uh, let's get the old hat here and just before I pull a name, let me show you how much I paid for that cargo mat or bed liner, rubber rubber bed mat uh, for my truck, and I'll throw a picture of it right now. So the junkyard I went to. Ran it as a, a floor mat. Yeah, floor mat. Dollar fifty nine. Not six four nine. Dollar fifty nine. Because you know, I look at this bench sheet. That was forty seven. Headliner twenty one. Molding per foot, which you still have to put in the truck. Six forty nine. Another piece of molding. Six forty nine. And that dome light assembly. Twelve forty nine. And that floor mat. Dollar fifty nine. So. Dollar fifty nine. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to shuffle this hat, and then if I pick one at random that happens to be closest to what I paid for it, that is the winner. We're going to keep it real simple. If I pick one that's too high, I'm going to set you aside, and maybe we'll have something for you some other time. But right now, we're going for closest to what I paid. Okay, so we're going to shake this up a little bit. And then we'll just shuffle up some more. I, I can't see who's in there. No smoke and mirrors and stuff. And five smackers. I think we got a winner. We got a winner for $50 Visa gift card. So if you want your $50 Visa gift card, Contact us down below through our email and we'll send this out to you. Randy Laymance, done one $50 gift card. For our other peeps who have town cars, Mercury, Grand Marquis, and Crown Victorias and stuff, if you need some shock absorbers, guess what? I've got the rear shocks and front shocks. These are all in really good condition. They all work pretty well. This one is still pretty pretty good. I've probably got maybe, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty stiff still. I think I've got a couple thousand miles on these. I've got Bilstein's in my car now. Uh, don't need them. These front ones have about, got a pry them. <laughs> They've been sitting on my shelf for a while. They're still working. These got about 
probably 18,000 miles. But anyways, they're good for a long time because tractor shocks were, were still good and they were 180 or 170 some thousand miles. So if you need some shocks, um, I have most of the hardware here. I'm going to find the rest of it. But if you anybody needs these, please contact me in the email down below and I will ship these out to you um, as a gift. So at no cost. Also, I have this dome light. This is from like a Ford Mustang, but these are also used in the OBS uh, crew cab trucks. Um, this has got a brand new lens on it and everything. Um, it might have a couple of minor scratches on it, probably come off. But this was a new lens that I bought for this. All the bulbs are still good in it. Um, they're original, but they worked great. Um, so also, if you needed this, please let me know. I will send it to you. So anyways, if I don't hear from Randy, uh, we'll draw again and pick another winner. And anyways, that's a loaded $50 Visa gift card. You can use it anywhere. You can get gas with it. You can buy random stuff on Amazon with it. Whatever you want to get. In the coming weeks, I gotta wait till my next four day work weekend, but we'll be putting this carpet in. But first we're going to be tearing the interior back out of the truck, get the old carpet and whatever shenanigans I had going on. And I'm going to grind the floor down, clean it up, and we're going to, um, uh, I, ideally I would like to cut out some parts of the floor and weld in new pieces, but I don't have the right welder for that or the right metalworking tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, clean it up. We're going to rusty metal primer and probably do some POR and then maybe hit um, certain areas with flex seal to kind of seal up cavities and stuff that are in the floor. I think that's what I'm going to do. And um, pretty, I've got that pretty well set in my head. That's what I'm going to do for the cab. And then we'll put this in. This is all clean and ready to go. I hit it again with my brand new carpet cleaner and a fresh solution. This cleaned up pretty good for considering how nasty it was. So um, I actually want to pull this back out a little bit so the carpet can relax. Get that crease out of there. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a couple of spots in the carpet that are kind of there, but I'm sure I could probably hit it with, an, uh, I could probably hit it again with the carpet cleaner. Um, anyways, some shocks. If somebody needs them, let me know. Working dome light. And the only thing that I is messed up with it, I trimmed this piece here um, to get it to fit in my cab, but I believe this is just a locating pin. Um, but other than that, that's in good shape. It all works. Still have the transfer case thing to do for my truck. Um, it's on the warming plate right now because I have to order a rebuild kit for that. I also still have to finish tearing that apart. And of course, when it goes into the truck, then I have to have my drive shafts remodified. Uh, I think one of them will have to be completely made. Um, the front, the four wheel drive, or the front prop shaft needs to be extended. So they might have to just make a whole new one, which I honestly wouldn't mind. And then the rear one will have to be shortened just a little bit more and then a double carden joint put in. So yeah, that's the end of this video. And we will catch you guys later. See you next time.